Hello everyone, the next here, welcome to another episode of Feed the Basics. In the previous episode I was talking about storage solutions offered by different mods in the FTB packs, and one of those stor storage solutions was the Hungry Chest. Now, I did mention that you cannot actually normally create it, and if you try to use NEI to check the recipe you get nothing, and I said there is a special way to craft it, and this is this episode. This episode I'm going to cover the Thumbcraft research mechanic and I'm going to cover Thumbcraft specifically mainly because it's a part of every almost every pack and it's a very um, it's a very strong component in most of your gameplay. You're probably going to use something from Thumbcraft so it's a good thing to know how to get started. Now, uh, one thing about Thumbcraft that it's very much easy to understand. It's actually very much self-explanatory but uh, in any case let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to know is you're going to need to craft yourself a wand. A wand is crafted using a stick, uh, any type of stick, well stick there is only one type of, a gold nugget which uh, you can get either by killing zombie pigmen or um, crafting tabling one gold ingot into nine of them. And finally you're going to need one of the uh, Thumbcraft shards that you can simply find through mining. Now since this is a normal or dictionary recipe, any one of them will do. So let's uh, arbitrarily pick the fire shard. And to get started we're going to set ourselves up with the crafting table and begin. Once again this basically this video will cover how to get started with Thumbcraft. So the first thing you need is a diamond, is a wand. I already got myself a wand by uh, before beforehand, but now I got myself two of them. As you can see, start collecting this. Uh, this is a whole another concept uh, in Thumbcraft. Basically, Thumbcraft adds uh, an invisible value called this and also an invisible value called flux to everything in the world. Wherever you are in the world, it's not very much chunk related. You can relate it to chunks, but it's not exactly right. But pretty much every chunk or every area in the world has a vis level and a flux level. That's not uh, um, too much important at the moment, uh, but in order to continue, what you're going to do is get yourself a bookshelf. Simply a normal, ordinary bookshelf, place it in the world, and while holding your wand of the apprentice, right click and you got yourself your Thumbinomicon. Your Thumbinomicon is your best friend in Thumbcraft. When you right click it, it you get this kind of achievement looking uh, thingy. Uh, first you get all those small buttons right here. Those are your best friends in Thumbcraft. Basically they explain everything and this is why Thumbcraft is such a great mod because it's very much self-explanatory and it's also very much intuitive. If you feel like something is right, it usually is and I'm going to explain why in a moment. Uh, but what I'm looking for is the research table. Once again, you can go over this, how you get started if you're really interested, but I'm going to cover this in this video right now. So in order to get started with Thumbcraft, let's say I want to craft myself the chest. Now I cannot craft the chest. Chest is actually quite an, it's not a very advanced recipe, but it's quite an advanced recipe. As you can see, if I go down here, I get all those little different things, all those buttons which are grayed out and also those buttons which are blinking. If I go down here, that's even some more buttons uh, and all that good stuff. Um, to get started, what you're going to do is a research table. To craft yourself a research table, you're going to need a normal table. It's an item specifically added by Thumbcraft and you're going to need to get two of them. I get myself some wood and some wood slabs. This is the recipe. Let's get two of them. And place it in the world. I just sent to each other. The next thing you're going to need are scribing tools. Now, I already prepared uh, the materials to craft it. This is the way you craft it. Uh, there, you can either use a glass file, which is a thumb craft item, or just a normal glass bottle. Now, it's a shapeless recipe. You can place it however you like in a crafting table, and you've got yourself the scribing tools. And finally, right click them with them on the table. And this is your research table. This is going to be your best friend in Thumbcraft Research. This is your only tool to learn new things. And as you can see, it's very high textures. It's going to be a reoccurring theme in Thumbcraft. Everything has very high textures. Well, not everything, but most of the things have very high textures. So how do you get started? So you may have noticed uh, previous times, every time, uh, sometimes you may have seen those icons appearing. Uh, this happens when you shift uh, shift and hover over something. It's called aspects. Uh, for example, paper has two of those water drops, two book thingies, and two uh, something else. Wood has two something related to wood, and everything has something related to its source material. Basically, you can also see it in the... Um, 
in the Thominomicon are uh, aspects of magic. Everything is made of something. Everything is made out of aspects. And the way you use it is when you go to research your Thominomicon, you can see those are five projects at the moment that can, you can start researching. When everything is blinking, it's, it means it's potentially available to research. Now, you always need to research the previous research in the tree in order to go deeper into harder recipes. So, for example, let's start with this thing, whatever this is. In order to research something, you're going to place a, place a piece of paper right here. And you know what? Actually, I don't know what I'm going to research. I'm going to research something. I have no clue what I'm going to research. Um, I'm going to grab myself a bunch of things that I don't know, that I've just came up with. I don't know, let's say wool. I managed to kill, uh, to shear some sheep. I also got myself some wood. I cut some trees, I got myself some wood. I'm going to get a bunch of uh, cobblestone, because everybody has a lot of cobblestone. And pretty much the way you research, you simply dump things into the uh, research table, click the magnifying glass, and... As you can see, items are sometimes being wasted. They're being consumed by the research. And as you can see, since nothing happens, you can pretty much be assured that at the moment you cannot use wood to research anything with the lignum aspect, which is a part of wood. So let's try something else. Let's try wool. Wool has a panace, which is basically the cloth, fabric, garment, and bestia. Everything that sources with animals and everything that's related to wool has those aspects. And as you can see now, I try to research wool and I get myself a research notes. At the moment it doesn't say anything, it's all gibberish because I still don't have enough information, so let's keep going. As you start researching, you can see uh, the panels aspect appears on the table. And is, at the moment you're at 37% at completion. So I want to keep going until you at 100% completion. Okay, so now you finished researching one aspect of whatever you're researching. Apparently you can now know that you're researching enchanted fabric. Um, so you can now also know that you need two more things to finish the enchanted fabric. Now this is actually where the research become interesting because now you need to start guessing how exactly do you complete the enchanted fabric. Of course you can use the internet, you can find Wikipedia pages on the internet telling you what exactly you need to research, but if you enjoy the experience of finding things yourself, you can actually be quite smart about it and realize for yourself what you're researching. So for example, you can start finding some information right from the, this description. You have created a simple but strong fabric from wool and spider silk. You're sure you can infuse it with magic somehow to create a wonderful crafting component. So you got, in my opinion, you got three clues. You got something about telling you about fabric, and this is something we've already researched. We al you also get uh, the clue about something related to magic. You can infuse it with magic, and you can also and you also get the clue about a crafting component. So let's try to use two things related both to magic and to crafting. I know, personally, that crafting tables are related to crafting. So let's craft a bunch of crafting tables. And you can see the, the anvil uh, aspect. This is basically the crafting aspect. So let's get a bunch of those. And uh, I know from experience that the Thumbcraft shards, the one used to create the wands, um, also give you the magic aspect. I'm going to use NEI here to help me a little bit and cheat myself some shards. And as you can see, they have something called the, the uh, purple thing, the magic wand. It's called Precantio. This is basically the magic aspect. So if I use um, the enchanted shard, you can see I'm going to research all those four aspects at once. Of course, some of them are not going to be used, but the magic will be. So at the moment, as you see, things are starting to gray to get to gray out, meaning they are for a fact not a part of this research. But now I'm starting to use Precantio, because once again, this is a part of the enchanted fabric. So uh, this is now 100% complete. And always, in, when you're very nearing to the completion of a research, you're also gonna get the final aspect shown to you. So I already know it's uh, Fabrico, which is the crafting aspect. But of course, this is what I was planning to do anyway. So that's it, you got your three aspects related to this enchanted fabric, this uh, research completed. You, you've now got yourself a discovery. Take this item out, right click it in the world, and you can now craft um, fabric. 
as you can see it now leads into something else you still this is still grayed out whatever this is still grayed out you're probably going to need to finish researching this first and probably this in order to get to this research whatever this is and if you interested you can actually left click on what you've researched it tells you how exactly to craft it the product is going to be the injected fabric whatever you've researched you've got some information right here as you can see you're going to need some string and any type of wool the uh, or dictionary changes in between them but there is also this thing right here so whatever this means you're gonna need it, you cannot craft it normally and uh, to prove it to you if I'm gonna get myself some string you cannot craft it just like this as you can see this is the recipe but I cannot craft it in order to craft something in thumbcraft you're gonna need to get yourself if you go to a thumbinomicon you're going to get yourself an arcane work table that's a, spe that's a special uh, crafting table, and it tells you how you construct it. You're going to need a table and to place a wand on it. So let's get another table. Uh, quickly craft one. And place it in the world. And right click with a wand. As you can see, it updated. It now gives you this crafting table with a special something here and also a slot to place a wand. At the moment, the wand in here is the wand of the apprentice, which holds 50 vis units. Of course, there are more advanced ones which hold more. And now I can now I can craft it. Now I can place my recipe in here and craft enchanted fabric. As you can see, the wand slowly recharges. Once again, this is a whole different aspect of thumbcraft. You can go over it in the flux and aura. Uh, pages it, ex it explains explains it very well uh, but that's pretty much it okay so this was the video i really wanted to touch on the aspect of researching in thumbcraft once again this is a very core mod in my opinion in most of the feed, feed the beast packs and you're probably gonna use it so i think it's a good thing to understand how research work and why you cannot simply craft everything you want from scratch like you may have the materials to craft this thing, whatever this is, but if you don't have it researched, you cannot craft it. This is kind of a balance, um, a balance method to make you invest items in order to know how to craft them. So, for example, I invested uh, two wool, I invested some shards and some uh, crafting tables in order to craft, in order to research the enchanted fabric. But more advanced recipes, more advanced researchers will take you even more expensive items to research them completely. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.